You know what? That's what they did say to me. It's that time for Emily's solo. Okay, first of all, sorry, I have to address. I yeah. think it's so weird that we're both sitting in front of the talking head wall because I've never done I know, that I <laughs> me either. I feel like the only time we ever did that was, I think when we did like EPK, maybe in like season two maybe. or something. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so you probably want to know what's going on. <laughs> rehearse. I love rehearsing. I love, I love the rehearsals. Well, no one loves to rehearsal no more than me. No, I love it more. No, no one loves to rehearse no, no, no. more than me. I love it more. Let's do it. <laughs> so in this episode, I actually come back to the next step. Classic. Yeah, classic. I'm like, hey, what's up? In case you <laughs> forgot about me. And Emily's like, oh my gosh, leave me alone, given like how we left off. Yeah, I mean, I think Emily's kind of justified in her feelings, if a little dramatic about them. Um, but again, a little what's dramatic. New? But like, what's new with Emily? Emily, Emily, I just want to talk to you for two minutes. I just need. Michelle comes and asks Emily for help with a contract. Yes. Which I think everyone should know, even though it's never been previously stated, Emily loves contracts. Yeah, I feel like Emily has this like low-key like lawyer vibe about her that like no one really low has key. like- Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well like that no one's ever really explored right. on the show. It's yeah. a really sweet storyline. In gen general, it's uh, like a reconciliation of mm -hmm. Emily and Michelle once again. I mean, they definitely have more of a grounding because you know, they do love each other and they, yeah. they definitely want to be in each other's lives, but they, they have a rip. They're also very different. So it's like, they always have to kind of meet in the middle. There's a huge thing in this episode where Michelle offers Emily yes, a job. Yes, about this. Yeah, Michelle's like, oh, you know what? I think we make a perfect team and I think we should like, you know, move on to pro professional endeavors outside of the studio. And I feel like you guys are gonna be like, whoa, what? Whoa. Yeah, it's kind whoa. of, been, yeah. And I think that, I think we just recap the whole episode for you. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this. Yeah. Alexander Beaton and Victoria Walks here at Rainbow. Oh, I want to talk about when I realized that it's you. We haven't filmed it yet. Like, I realized my secret admirer. Oh, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. It is revealed that Emily's secret admirer <laughs> is Michelle, which should not have come as that much of a surprise. I mean, but literally everything I get as my presence, you would know. Like, it's I know, highlighted. You're right. Why don't I have a secret admirer? But. I do think it's kind of funny because the audience has never seen you like have, well, other than Elden and stuff like that. And like, Hunter and, and West. Hunter and West, yes. But I mean, in like, as like an adult, like not on A Troop, they've never seen you have like a real like boyfriend. Or, I know, like, I have this secret storyline in my head that Emily has been in like a committed relationship since season four. <laughs> Literally. And she's just like, and quiet she just about like it. doesn't talk she's about like, it. Yep, we're married, she, it's done. A, she like learned her lesson from spreading her relationships around in season one, yes. two, and three. And also, there's so much relationship drama at the next step that she's just like, you know what, I'm not doing this. No kids. Oh. Emily's not, she's not ready. She's a little too selfish. <laughs> just a loving, committed, supportive relationship. Well, we move the mirror. Anyone we know? Anyone from the next step? I don't know. So um, it, it's kind of funny because I feel like fans might be like, oh, like, is she gonna have like a storyline with a new man? Like, mm -hmm. who's the new character? Or I think it was nope, also- Nope, it's me! <laughs> Surprise! It's I me. also think it's, it was a really smart way to address that Emily and Nick were never gonna happen. Oh, I know, yep. Yeah. Um, I thought about that too. I was like, oh, I wonder how that's gonna Yeah, happen. no, they will never happen. <laughs> um, but- They will never <laughs> happen. Um, but, yeah. It's that time for Emily's solo. I've brought in a choreographer. Hey, hey! A choreographer. We're just gonna spin in. Which way? This way. Oh, oh. A choreographer. Because it's a me on fire. And that's it. That's my solo. All the time when I'm wearing this, <laughs> that's a distracting <laughs> shot. I always go. You know what? That's what they did say to me. They're like, Alexandra, be artistic. We want to see your soul. In this? Yeah, we'll flip that. It's what my soul looks like. Okay. What about that one? I don't know, that wasn't me. <laughs> Are you tired? No, we just had a coffee. Can you tell? <laughs> my dress has pockets in it. It's comfortable. And action! This is the only way I can get you to talk to me. Just hear me out. No. Wait, Emily, just wait. Just, can you just I'm committed to that cake throw. <laughs> committed. It's so funny how far we've come throughout these past seasons. And yeah. we've, we've gone from 
enemies to like being business okay. partners. We were, we oh, were, we were enemies. enemies. Okay. We okay. We'll go through it. Um, auditions. Mm -hmm. We came to terms with each other. You stole Eldon from me. We were enemies. Then there was Hunter. <laughs> You, we're doing a full recap. Yeah. Then we were civil. Like, we there was not really civil. that much season two. Yeah, after all that. Season three, I got injured, so I yeah, wasn't you in leave. it. And then, like, season you totally four yeah. came back, and I wasn't... We didn't really even have any. So we were civil, civil, civil. Then season five, enemies. enemies. But then... But then was like, friends. okay, you know what? Friends, let's join forces. Season, season six, six, like, best, best friends. friends. And then this year, just like, boom, bye. I'm done with you. We're not friends, and then we actually do. So up rude. So back to Annie's, and now back to friends. And just fun fact for everyone, but let's just clear it up so you can stop being in our DMs about it. We, have we are friends. friends. We are friends we in are real friends life. Friends in real life. <laughs> Good friends. Guys, we love each other, honestly. <laughs> like, if there's anyone I could like co star with, it's Alexander Bean. Aw, that's it. So like, cute. Alex and I have been through so much because when I first started the show, I was 14. Mm -hmm. So I was going into high school, and Alex I was, was 17. 17. Going into and she was going into university. College. So we were on completely different pages when it just came to like maturity and like, and not just maturity, mm -hmm. but just like our lives were just yeah. completely different. So it was kind of like a little bit harder. There's not a big difference between our our ages now. Like when you're in your 20s, yeah. things seem closer, but when you're 14 and 17, that age difference feels Totally, bigger. it feels completely different. Yeah, because I felt like a child, right? Compared to everybody else. But then I think you and I really, really hit it off when yeah. like season five rolled around and mm -hmm. we like spent every day together, obviously by choice, but then also uh, in LA, we yeah. spent so much time together. Yeah. We've had we so much fun. So uh, maybe something you guys don't know or you do know because you've seen so much behind the scenes is I am, have never really been a dancer. I've always been an, an actor, that's yeah. what I do. Um, so obviously being around all these amazing dancers was nerve wracking. Mm -hmm. um, but Victoria was always so kind, helping me to go over all my steps <laughs> countless times. I, like, I'm pretty sure she was like- It was half for you, but it was half for me because I was just as nervous. Cause yeah. I was like, I do not want to mess this up. So like, maybe I'll just ask her if she wants to rehearse because I don't know what and I'm I, doing. And I was like, I definitely do. Cause I don't know what I'm doing and I'm gonna I'm get saying. fired from this show. <laughs> well, we um, didn't get fired, so that's good. Yeah. Oh no, it's, it's actually evolved this season, the turn and leave because I've worked in a hair flip. I go. Sometimes it's a subtler hair clip, sometimes it's a... And sometimes it's a, it's like a big, like... <laughs> it's always a hair flip. 